you got to understand that back in them days, niggas were pretty simple creatures. Give them some pork, some cornbread, some greens, and some see every now and then, and they will work for you like a mother Those are not my words. Those were the words of a Mississippi prison guard back in the 1960s. What is conjugal visit and how did it all start it? Now, before I tell you what it is, let me take you back in time for a little bit. After the Civil War in 1861, the state governments in the South had responsibility for arresting, trying, and incarcerating black criminals for the very first time. Most white Southerners did not want African Americans to be free, but they also did not want to pay to lock them up either. Once federal control over southern states lessened at the end of the Reconstruction period, white, wealthy businessmen suggested a solution. Convict labor. Now, this was where Parchment Penitentiary comes into play and the whole conjugal visit thing. Let me paint you a picture of what Parchment Penitentiary was like. Parchment was built by black convicts in 1904, which thousands of them occupied. But this penitentiary looked nothing like a prison and everything like a f***ing plantation. Parchment had no walls, no towers or checkpoints, only a barbed wire fence and a wooden barracks for the convicts. The black inmates work 20,000 acres of farmland six days a week and only get Sundays off. The guards and the administrations lived on the grounds and perks included inmates working for them as servants. If convicts weren't productive in their work, or white guards just feel like beating the out of a convict for no reason, their punishment would be extremely harsh. number and intensity of lashes depended on the guard's mood, malice and anger level. Convicts often appealed to politicians for pardon, but would rarely ever get it. The only most uncertain way to get pardon from the politicians was being unable to work. This in return led the inmates to chop off an arm or cut the archerist tendon. Or another way to get full pardon was to become a trustee. Now a trustee was armed by the prison guard and was ordered to kill an inmate if he tries to escape. Now this in returns would give the trustee better food and full pardon. So now that you get a vivid image of what Parchment Penitentiary was like, let us look at what conjugal visit was and how it all began. After the black inmates worked six long and hard days in the field, as mentioned earlier, without any good treatment, nothing good overall, their morals started dropping. Now this in return affected productivity on the plantation, or penitentiary as they call it. So the white prison guards started thinking of ways of how they could increase back productivity, build morals, and also maintain control in the same process. 
So they came up with the idea of organizing trucks to ship in prostitutes on a Sunday when the black inmates were off for them to have sex with these females in the rows of the cotton field. Even though the practice of the prison guards wasn't prison policy, they accepted it for decades. Now, this was the first documented case of conjugal visit in American history. Now, the formal definition for conjugal visit is a scheduled period in which an inmate of a prison or jail is permitted to spend several hours or days in private with a visitor to And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the dark history behind conjugal visit and how it all started. If you never know, now you know. Thank you.